What's up guys, this is Reno Ranchero with another Hunger Games gameplay commentary for you all. In this video, which is another episode to my Hunger Games kit challenge, I will be playing with the Viking kit. Now with the Viking kit, if you make an axe, it will do a half a heart more than the axe made of the same material. So if you make a stone axe, it will do the same damage as an iron sword, and an iron axe will do the same damage as a diamond sword. So I'm going to start off with a stone axe which is the same thing as an iron sword and we go into these two people who are fighting this guy Pat Boys and this other person who is a fisherman I don't really know how to say that name Vinicius Toledo uh, gets killed and then we have the sheepy guy who runs by but I kill him in one shot so I got sort of lucky that they were both fighting and I just got the finishing shots with my axe now we have this guy R. Walton Burke he's trying to run away he goes up a tree and then this person has a piece of dirt in his hand and he really gets a nice combo but unfortunately dirt does not do that much damage at all so I'm going to make some more mushroom soup and continue on with this game uh, with my stone axe. The one thing about PvPing with an axe is you don't have the same reach, so it's a lot harder to get combos. But we get this guy Crazy Waffle who I combo, he dies from the fall damage. I get some soup back into my hotbar and fight this other guy in the ravine named Slick Boy who I kill with my axe. And then I kill the dog afterwards because I am just that heartless. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to mine out this ravine here. We have some iron, a lot of iron actually exposed which is kind of nice I'm in the top 25 this server started with about a hundred people actually 99 if you want to be so specific I usually don't like to be but I'm gonna start smelting this iron here uh, and I go through to get some coal as well I need a little bit more iron because I want to get full iron before I leave this ravine you'll see there's a madman nearby because I just got the little madman message in my chat so I know I'm being stalked by someone and here he is it's this guy named Creek Lax he's a madman with an iron sword uh, but I'm able to take him out right there. Madman can be very scary if the person is stalking you for a long time. But fortunately, I was able to kill him. So you'll see I just made an iron axe because I want to have a diamond sword equivalent. And that's what that is with the Viking kit. So that is great. So I have tons of soup, full iron armor, and an iron axe. So I'm going to tower out of this ravine. You'll see that the sun is about to go down. I'm in the top 14. And I jump into this ravine, and there's this guy with no armor. His name is Kato. And he was a beast master, which is a free kit right now, which does explain all the dogs everywhere. I decided to use some of his iron to make a bucket. So now I have pretty much everything I would want with iron. And I am towering out yet again. I guess I don't have an iron pickaxe, but it's not the end of the world, folks. Uh, so the feast has not been announced. In fact, we're still pretty early in this game, about the 13-minute mark. And I get this person, Emmy Girl 2000, who I hit. Uh, she backs up into a tree. I just keep swinging with my diamond sword axe. And I take Emmy Girl out, who did not have a kit. Uh, so it is a little laggy, as you guys can see. Uh, but that is all right. I'm going to the desert here. I'm trying to find the next person on my compass, which is this person named E-Man0326. And here he is. He has full iron armor. He tries to go with a lava at first, but then he starts hitting me with an iron sword. So I have a diamond sword, which is going to be better than what he has. But he does have a reach advantage with his sword. Uh, so do remember that. Viking does give you the offensive ability. But it's not always the best for PvP. Uh, but you can try to get combos. It is pretty difficult, but you can still try, obviously. Here I have to refill. He looks like he is refilling, too. Uh, he's got that lava right there. I gotta watch out for that. Lava can be deadly. And we're just gonna continue to fight back and forth. Me and E-Man here in the top six. Uh, as I'm trying to play with the Viking kit. You'll see it's not the best for PvP. But there he is refilling again. I'm going to have to refill pretty soon, which I do here. You'll see now he's getting a pretty nice combo on me as I'm trying to refill. Now he's throwing bowls. I am trying to get some crits on him, jumping up and down. Um, and then pretty soon I'm going to have to refill. So this is just kind of what happens. He's throwing bowls there. I'm trying to refill it. Then he goes ahead and runs away. I make more soup and he comes back in. And you'll see he gets a pretty nice combo on me here as I am trying to hit him with my axe. I just can't really get a hit on him uh, here as he gets the combo. Uh, but then I come in trying to hit him in the feet with my axe. Uh, he refills right there when I still have a soup left. And then I'm able to do a pretty quick refill that I don't think he anticipated. And so as he throws stuff out of his hotbar, I get the kill on E-Man, who was a hermit. So that was a very good fight with E-Man for sure. So now I find myself in the top five. And there's this guy in my compass named Javonest. And I do want to kill Javonest. I do. 
I do want to kill him, obviously. I don't know how to speak English sometimes. I just made a shovel right there. I wanted to get some snowballs, because you just never know. And I start digging down to Jay Von S, but then the feast gets announced. So I decided to go back to the feast. And I am just kind of spamming my compass, making sure nobody is coming. Uh, and then here comes this guy named Hamon949. I just get a good combo on him with my iron axe and take him out with about four shots. I fall right there for no apparent reason. And then we see this guy towering. I try to use snowballs. I do tower up momentarily. to try to throw snowballs at him, but I realize I was too slow and I can't really hit him. So I don't really know what kit this guy is, but he's towering up. I try to put down some water. Uh, hoping that maybe if he tries to jump, I won't die. But then I remember that I have an axe as a viking, so I can use the strategy of breaking the chest and holding shift. So that's what I decide to do here. I go in holding shift, and I start to break chest. Well, first I get soup out of my inventory. But as I'm breaking chest, he decides to jump down, but he has no armor at all. And I take him out right there. So he was a surprise stomper, uh, but luckily he was not able to stop me. So just for the fun of it, I decide to break all the chests. I sort of go through everything, I trying to get ender pearls, lava buckets, and then everything else I just decide to burn. But what do I forget to grab? A bow. For some reason, I always do that. I always throw away the bows, but I get the arrows. It's just something I do. I don't know why. So I guess I don't have a bow, but that is alright, because we have two more people in this game besides me. And the guy, Javonest, is the guy I was digging down before. I actually dig down the exact same way I dug down earlier, and you'll see I'm all the way down to level 12. There is Lapis Lazuli and Redstone down here, which is a great thing to mine. And as I'm digging through, he breaks a block, so I jump down. He has tons of dogs in a small area, and I'm just sort of swinging my axe crazily. And I kill him, and then I, you know, sort of kill his dog too. He was making bricks, so that is pretty funny, guys. I should have took the bricks, uh, but I decided not to take them. So now there is one more person in this game, Martieni5. And I am going through with my iron axe trying to track this last guy, and it seems that he is pretty much on the other side of the world. I was in the positive, positive, and now I'm just making my way here. But look what I find, a mini feast, and look how lucky I am, three diamonds inside that chest, and you guys know what that means. I can make a diamond axe. So it is one of those extremely rare cases where you get to make a diamond axe. So now I have a sharpness one diamond sword, and I did enchant it with efficiency just to be funny. I know you can't get sharpness on an axe, but I decided Oh, uh, what the heck, maybe if I have to cut down a tree really fast, I will have a great time doing that. So now I'm just going through this tundra, or I guess you could say it's a taiga, and I find the swamp, and here he is, Marty any 5 and he has an enchanted diamond sword in his inventory. So that is kind of scary, I don't know what kit this guy could be, but he's got a diamond sword. I am going through trying to get some combos with my axe on Martieni, and I take him out right there. He was a barbarian, and I win the game with Viking. Viking is a relatively new kit. I think it's very good for early game, but once you get towards the end of the game, I think it doesn't really help you as much, and you should really just stick with PvPing with swords. And here is the stats page, 14 kills with Viking. And that is the end of this episode of the Hunger Games Kit Challenge. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. And I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.